there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues of course with our A to Z series in which we're playing as historians now we're at war it is 2277 and we've been at war with the Swords of Haman for a while now we've lost 2000 they've lost 1700 this has not been an easy war and I do not recommend this because the Swords of Haman should honestly be beating the crap out of us but we're doing all right as you can see their divisions are pretty weak um, I've been sitting here and we've been doing a lot of things off screen we have six six research lots um, so now, to let you know, the historians no, do not have a unique focus tree. But I've been using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Tech Expansion, and Old World Blues for the little guys, which gives us this expanded generic focus tree, which really helps us out. Um, so I want conventional warfare, defensor, defensive posturing, and uh, if you don't know anything about the historians, let's talk about them. We're led by William Goodwin. Some members of the historical society studied farming. Some f learned how to skin animals, but Goodwin learned how to play the violin, the sound not heard in Dakota for over 100 years. Goodwin's music is a comfort throughout the North, a reminder of why people study the past, not just to remember how to survive, but to remember how to live. We have pioneer farming. The historians keep alive the methods used by the first settlers of the Dakotas. They make them friends throughout the region and improve their own crop rotation. We have the sound of music. The sound of William music uh, rings throughout North Dakota over the radio waves, making people far happier and even making raiders hesitant to invade us, fearing the loss of the beautiful music. And we're an intelligent or intellectual society, so pretty much everything we've got here is about all research speed and whatnot. So, with this generic focus, you get an extra research slot once you go down to certain focus. I, I literally do not know how we got a six research slot. Um, but I'm not really going to complain too much. Uh, because that's kind of insane. I was hoping for five. We started with four. And we got the fifth one through uh, improve the countryside. But And we also are going down funding intellectuals. We're going to go down the intellectual Id idiocracy route. Tech for the people, help our people, and intellectual takeover. So I'm not sure we got the sixth one. I'm not really going to complain too much about it, but uh, yeah, kind of busted. We're pretty much average on everything but power armor, robotics. Um, on that, we don't really need, need anything else. I mean, industry is very good. Construction is very good. And I think it's time for us to attempt to do this because I'm sure Standing Rock wants to kill us too. So we should do okay. Heyman Strong. Oh, hello. Yep, Standing Rock wants to kill us. So what else do you expect? So we're going to make an encirclement here, which would be nice. Two power armor divisions. Um, it's a little ahead of time, but you know what? With six research slots, whatever. And it's good for army XP as well, but yeah, we lost a lot of guys. There you go. Um, also, technically, we were supposed to have Heyman's stand anyways, because that was actually our core territory, but then they took it away from us once uh, the Heyman was kicked out of the Montana chapter. And now we've got a big old war that we've got on our border. Or we will have on our border. Um, no man power, what do you expect? I hope we can hold them off. Huh. And, uh, yeah, why is the investigation? It's only really this one that we need. We can do some amount of stuff. Let's create an intelligence agency, shall we? Better come in for troops, which is good. More defense. Uh, we don't need to rush through that stuff, though, because we've already done a lot of stuff here. Um, expand our markets would be bad. More stability would be nice. Air base construction. Let's go with this one. And we've been maximizing our infantry as much as possible because it's pretty decent. Now this group, this group looks pretty tough. And I'll show you what template we're working with. This is a generic one we've been using pretty much throughout every Overworld Blues A to Z campaign. Unless you robots, power armor, or something unique. So twin combat with anti-tank cams, demo teams. Uh, I'm going to throw a recon in here in just a little bit. Uh, but we'll see. Fire teams would be nice too. Do we have at least one division per tile? That's good at least. Because these guys are going to be pretty thick. The other hospitals would be very nice. Year ahead of time. Year ahead of time. Uh, we don't even have special forces yet, so there's really no point for that one just yet. Working on a land doctrine, like I said, conventional warfare. We'll do that one ahead of time, but whatever. We should do okay. If we don't, well, we'll have to go back to the drawing board. Which will not be ideal, but whatever. We need a lot of infantry equipment, though. We got a decent amount of caps, but I think we can't buy any more. Yeah, opinion is negative one, so we really can't buy any more. Which kind of sucks for us. Huh. We're demo equipment too. Hmm. Not ideal. Hey, but we make a 12th division. Good. Oh my god, do we need it? Uh, settlements out. Uh, are we missing guns, demo equipment, and motorized? So, whatever. 
That's good to put him there. General staff's good. Also, we're, with the second expansion, we need more manpower. Uh, so we're going to save, just in case. Because that does not look good for us. I just want us to be able to hold. That's all I care about. Cabal. Cool. Um, you're not doing anything, which is not good for us. Uh, drill, reconnaissance, coordination. Yeah, that's not ideal. Looks like they're really beating the crap out of us, so we'll need a little bit more time here to figure out what we're going to do with this. Ah, uh, not hard at all. They're very strong for some reason. We got a lot of stuff on their guys, too. What do you expect, you know? Uh, so it looks like we'll have to go back to the drawing board, and I'll uh, see you when we're doing okay against Standing Rock. Well, everyone, this has not been very good. Um, basically, truth be told, I'd use Khan's commands, because uh, we're so well worth Standing Rock. If it was just us versus them, we could probably do okay. But then they allied with the true Khans, and they went to war with us. Uh, the Montana Brotherhood uh, demanded uh, both Watford City as well as Heyman Stand, and so we can't fight a two-front war, so I had to give it to them. Um, by, but by using Khans' commands, I made Standing Rock and the Great Khans go to war with uh, basically Nebraska, the United Wallers. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. I mean, at this point, it's more balanced, but I mean, overall, there's really not very much we could do. Um, they've got a lot of divisions, they're very strong. We've lost 2,000, they've lost about 4,000. Um, so, I mean, 1v1 we could do it, but we can't do 1v2. And on top of that, uh, it's just, it's impossible. So, I would have liked to do it fairly, but I just don't think we, we could have. So, uh, but we'll do what we can after, you know, what we've done. Um, we're already on two-year conscription. And if we have to, we'll go to four-year conscription, which will really start hurting us badly, but, you know, whatever. Uh, we're going to grab that, too. We never had enough political power, as it is, too. Um, but, yeah. We're almost done with our, land, our generic focus tree here. So, yeah. Well, it hasn't been very bueno. Hello? No. Let's go across if we can. I mean, cut them off, that'd be ideal. Because they're losing to Crow's Creek, they're losing to the uh, Glow's Cradle, which is nice to see. But yeah, this is just impossible. Get them all involved in there. Yeah, they should cut them off, that's good. Get them both in there. So I apologize for using consequence, but there's literally no other option we could have had. Like, this really sucks. We were able to make a ship, which we don't really need, but whatever. Um... Ah. Do I recommend the historians? Absolutely not. They're too hard to play as. They're destined to die anyways. Um, so I really, really, really do not recommend anyone ever playing them. Unless you can do better than me, which I'm sure there are people who can do better than me. Oh, let's go two more divisions now. I did combine a couple divisions because their strength was just so low. We have, were completely out of manpower. So I'm sure someone could do better than me, uh, at least in terms of playing as historians. But even then, that's, it's very, very difficult. Going through the A to Z series, it's, it, you find out which nations are not bad. You know, when, when which nations are like, oh my god, this is impossible. So, looks like they've not been able to push out too much, just a little bit. Them being on a multi front war is definitely helping us out. And we've actually researched a lot of things already. Having those six research slots does come in handy, don't get me wrong. Um, but, aero designs, um, we're doing with that. We're going to go with metal scrap. Because we can. Timberlake. Alright. I want you all here. I'm more worried about uh, Standing Rock than, than the Great Cons themselves. Because it looks like you're about to get encircled, god dang it. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Well, we're going to Bell Forsh. Forsh? Forsh? Something like that. Well, at least we got un uncircled. That's good. But seriously, I don't understand why horses are so strong. Of course, infantry is not very good to attack with. What do you expect? But still. Still. Uh, they're doing pretty well down here, which is nice to see. It's good for us. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend getting there faster sooner rather than later. Please, Mitch. Yeah. I apologize for having used cons commands, but it is what it is, you know. Please do not get encircled. Come on. Metal scraps, nice. Uh, seek water. Bricks. Sure. Yeah, they can have the great cons. I want all the standing uh, rock territories. 
go. Manage Raj Striker Tree, it's not bad. Um, resource efficiency gain, sure. Over here, grab more. Whoopsie, I did not mean to use army XP for that. Oh well, it happens. Ah, we got scout team. Gets. Because actually, with this nation, we have a unique thing here. We have formable nations. History is science. Um, the historical society has long sought to protect every form of past knowledge. Now that we put theater into practice by defending ourselves, maybe it's time to expand the society into a full on university, one that can teach history across the Dakotas. So if Heyman split from the Montana chapter and attacked us, we also require ownership of Watford City. Crap. So wait, we can't get any cores yet. So that's a goal. Become the university or whatever it is. Uh, hello? It's very hard to tell the difference between these two, but it's about right there. Up, oh, kill them off. There we go. Ah. Pass keepers, wardens of the white. That's fine. Nice. Go there. Water. Reactivate the generators. Good, should get there in a second now. God dang it, I hate this. We just don't have enough strength. I mean, that, those guys have a lot of strength. We don't, you know. There we go. Alright, so they've gone. Bye bye. Thank God. Now that these guys finish those guys up too. No men to spare. We've had no men to spare for a very, very long time. And you should win down here. Six research slots is nice, but having no manpower, you can't really do much with it. So now we're kind of stuck here to wait for these guys to finish guys off. I might actually go to war with Bismarck. Just we've got to start building ourselves up. So. And if I have to start coring stuff, so be it. Uh, actually, we could probably go from Team Buttes and then get this tile, do core that, because I want to save as much political power as possible and start going where we can to make sure that we have enough political power, manpower for whatever we need. Oh my god, this is impossible. Outside of battalions, as much compliance as possible. Old wood, and once we're done with our generic focus tree, we'll be fine too, but getting to that point, ugh. So we're about to have the peace deal, thank god. All right, so I'm taking all the standing rock. I want all the standing rock. You actually. Okay, can we take anything from standing rock? I just want all the core territories to stay. That's all I care about. They can have the great cons. I don't care. Oh, that's a question. Cool. Oh, Gettysburg. Yeah. Cool. They can have all the cons. Not super ideal, but that's what we got right now. Yeah, so we're done with that stuff for now. Uh -huh. Are we missing anything else? No, we're good on scrap, which is decent. Uh, we got a lot of build around here. A lot of compliance is going to be needed and whatnot, which really sucks. But it does give us a trade note, so maybe we can actually start doing stuff here. Would I recommend this campaign? Like I said. Probably not. Very difficult. Would not recommend. So the main goal by the next episode is to go to war with the Montana Brotherhood, who's at war with Middlemark. Holy crap. That's going to be even bigger. Um, yeah, we've got Rapid City. Um, we'll expand, core as much as we can, and just make ourselves into a, a stronger power, because right now we're really sucking really hard. So I think I went up there. I've already spent like two hours off the screen doing this, so 
Um, if you enjoyed the video though, please consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we're going to continue struggling as the good old historians. Thanks for watching, have a tremendous rest of your day.